So look, you split with some of your tech peers, you split with the mayor of San Francisco on this issue. Why are you so out front on this? Well, just walk right outside the door here and you know we have a very serious homeless crisis in San Francisco and it is getting much, much worse. We have 7,500 homeless individuals currently on the streets. We have 1,200 homeless families, each with two kids. And how are we going to get them off the streets? It's getting worse. It's a problem. We know it. Um, that's why I'm voting for Prop C. What about the unfairness that other companies are citing here? You have Jack Dorsey saying, I admit that while I come at this as a citizen first, there's an unfairness I see in my role as CEO of Square. This doesn't apply to Twitter. Companies like Square and Stripe would be taxed at a significantly larger total contribution than much larger companies like Salesforce. Do you see the unfairness? Well, what I see is a crisis of inequality in San Francisco. I mean, that is what is striking to me. We have 70 billionaires here in our city, that's incredible. We have companies that you report on with hundreds of billions of dollars of market cap. Of course, you know Salesforce, we're the largest employer here in San Francisco, not just largest tech employer, largest employer. We have a $100 billion market cap. And you just talked about a few companies, Square worth 30 billion, Twitter worth 20 billion, uh, Stripe, you know, 20 billion. Um, well, the amazing thing is, these companies can afford it. For us, it's just a $10 million tax. These are immaterial amounts to us. $10 million doesn't mean anything. You know, that's less than the private plane that Jack Dorsey is going to fly around on. You know that. So, and I'll tell you right now, it's the money that we need to make a difference here in San Francisco. Well, Jack Dorsey is saying that at a certain point for Square, it becomes unsustainable and that they won't necessarily be able to stay in the city, which in his words, would be heartbreaking. You know, what do you say to that? Well, that's what I see with the homeless. I see that the homeless aren't, you know, getting the treatment they, they need, and that is they need shelter, they need mental health tra uh, treatment, they need uh, treatments for their addictions. And kids who are on the street, I mean, that's the most touching part. These kids, they've got to get into homes. And we have the plan. We know how to do it. We've been running very successful programs here in San Francisco for the homeless now for years. You know that. I've been involved with them. I've funded my personally tens of millions of dollars for homeless programs. And what I found is that we know how to do it, but we need more funding now. I was just on the phone with the mayor. She needs an emergency funding of $6 million from me to get a shelter open in the Tenderloin. That's because she's out of money. And if you look at other politicos who are supporting this, well, Nancy Pelosi is supporting this. Senator Dianne Feinstein is supporting this. Jackie Spire is supporting this. And not just me, Chuck Robbins, who's the CEO of Cisco Systems and Cisco Systems, we're also supporting it. So you have the, basically the regions, nations, two largest tech employers right here. It's a quarter trillion dollars of market cap between Salesforce and Cisco. We're both supporting Prop C. We think this is right for business because homelessness has been so tough on our business. Mayor London Breed has made homelessness one of her big issues, and she is not supporting this. She thinks that there needs to be a, a regional, a more structured solution. Shouldn't she have a say in what happens in her city? Well, of course, all of this got created way before Lennon Breed became our mayor. And this is put together by our city's very top homeless advocates. In fact, the people who are on her staff and her team have been involved in putting it together. Our top homeless NGOs are putting it together. And really, even the experts at UCSF who have worked with other cities like Salt Lake City and our national vet programs that have gotten them off the streets have put it together. So I have a lot of confidence in the program, and I think this is the right thing for our city. And look. Big business pays. Uh, consumers don't pay on this. It's just our top 50 businesses, you know, in San Francisco that are going to have to pay a very small tax, but to deal with our number one issue, and that's why I'm supporting Proposition C. I know you've tried to raise money for this privately as well. You've tried to raise money for many issues privately. How much of this comes <laughs> from your frustration that other tech leaders you feel aren't doing their part? Well, thank you for opening that door. I mean, you know, we are constantly raising money here in San Francisco. You know that because you helped me out quite a bit. So thank you for everything that you are doing and everything that Mike Bloomberg is doing. Mike Bloomberg is probably one of the most generous people in the whole country. He's given over $6 billion of his fortune away. Incredible. Well, here in San Francisco, we have our own philanthropic needs. When we had our North Bay fires a year ago, we raised $40 million. The people who are complaining about this, they didn't give us money for that. Uh, of course, we just raised $40 million to get every child off the streets in San Francisco, and we have now got hundreds of, fa of uh, families off the streets in San Francisco with this program. 
they didn't give us any money for that. And of course, we had our SF Gives programs with Tipping Point, uh, where we raised tens of millions of dollars to help those most in need in San Francisco. So the only thing that these guys are giving money to is the opposition to this proposition. That's the first time they've ever given any money to anything in San Francisco. Well, I guess it's good that they're giving. <laughs> The country can't seem to catch its breath ahead of the midterm elections. You've got uh, the pipe bombs, the visceral debate on social media, shootings. Um, you know, what do you think can be done? I mean, would you like to see Twitter go back to real names? What I'd really like people to do is to just open their hearts and be able to look at when they're walking down the streets and you see homeless adults and children on the street say, there through the grace of God go I. You know, one of the things that I love about San Francisco, we're built on the patron saint um, is St. Francis. And he had a great phrase. He said, in giving it is receive, that we receive. And in giving that we receive, well, that's how I look at Proposition C. You know, the C in my mind is for compassion. The C is for, for charity. This is the very heart of what we do in the city. And I think if you want to really make the world better, then it's time to start giving. And that, that's the best way to let people know that we're caring about them. You've taken a hard line on some other companies like Facebook. And in the past, you've said that's um, caused you some troubles in your own friendships. And I wonder, has this done the same? Well, of course, you know. How, how are your relationships <laughs> being affected by this? Emily, well, hopefully our relationship is all right. But I mean, number one is the most important thing is that I feel like I need to speak my truth. And sometimes that means speak truth to power. I've had a lot of tough phone calls from executives who get very unhappy when I say something like, you know, I said in January, Facebook is the new cigarettes. It's not good for you. It's addictive. It's being manipulated. Others are trying to get you to use it in ways you don't even understand. All of that has turned out to be true and much worse than even I ever imagined. And that's a tough conversation. And then this is a tough conversation, too, where I said, Business is the greatest platform for change. We can fix the homeless situation in San Francisco. Right now, all we have to do is vote for Proposition C, and it's immaterial to our business right now, the financial numbers, but homelessness is material to my business. Apple's and Apple's that's a CEO, tough conversation for Tim people Cook, don't want to give. Tim Cook has also taken on Facebook and Google over their business model, over how they handle user data and privacy. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg you know, hit back at that on the earnings call. Who's going to be on the right side? of history in this in this privacy well, debate and what Tim do you Cook make of this sure. sort of bigger text yeah. smackdown Tim Cook, Tim Cook for sure is on the right side of history he and I both have called for a national privacy law here in the United States you know we have GDPR in Europe that's doing a fantastic job in Europe in protecting European citizens they have more protection and control than any other region in the world we need that here in the United States a lot of the privacy debates that we're having right in um, our city in San Francisco, well, we wouldn't be having that if we were in Paris or London or Munich. We need a national privacy law in the United States. We need that now. We need some of our great senators and some of our great Congress people, and they know who they are, to really say, okay, we're going to write this law and get this done. We're, we're trying to advocate for that. We've been doing that for months. That's going to help us to get through it because right now our data is being misused in ways that we don't even understand, and all of that needs to come into the light. Look. Companies need to like really start to address their core values. What is the most important thing to Facebook? What is the most important thing to Salesforce? For us, we know it's trust. Nothing is more important than the trust we have with our key stakeholders. That includes our customers, our employees, our partners, and also our homeless. You know, the homeless are a key stakeholder of our business. What matters in San Francisco matters to me, and it matters to our employees. And you know what? Even when they're on their way home from work and they're in their BART station here, you know, it's, it's becoming more difficult. That's why I'm voting for Proposition C. Salesforce co-CEO Mark Benioff. Thank you for having me. By. Always great to be here. Caroline Scarlett, I'll send it back to you. Emily Chang, thank you so much. Great conversation there. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff speaking with Emily. And we should note, by the way, that Michael Bloomberg is the founder and majority owner of Bloomberg LP.